Welcome to part 11 and in this tutorial this is where we're going to cover with you how to set up international eBay templates. That's right, this is where we can show you how you can amend your existing eBay templates easily for the international eBay sites using WidgetChimp. What I'll be showing you in a few moments Dave is how you can duplicate and then customize your existing responsive eBay listing template or templates for the international eBay site. So the links in there will go to ebay.com.au or ebay.de for example or ebay.com depending on whichever site you set that template up for. Cool. Now, let's just rewind this back, Matt, and maybe perhaps introduce WidgetChimp to anyone who hasn't come across this before. That's a pretty good point, Dave. So, WidgetChimp, in short, you can create fully responsive eBay listing templates which work on desktops, tablets, and mobile devices as well. It's something quite different. I think it's probably the best way of explaining it. It's not like a fixed template where you pay several hundred pounds for you're in control aren't you absolutely and the secret bit which everyone loves is how easy it is to revise the template literally no nerd required and for anyone who isn't aware widget chimp is actually bundled into the understanding e premium membership where you can actually save yourself is it 29.99 on the membership that we bundle in for free with understanding e that's right. Me and Dave, neither of us are salespeople, but what we do believe in is no-brainer value. So you can either have like an elite subscription on Widget Chimp for £30 or £29.99, or you can go for Understanding E Premium at £19.99, and you get an elite account for Widget Chimp bundled in. But it just seems the right thing to help you and your business, because we know that if you've got a fantastic template which works on the different mobile devices, that ultimately you're gonna sell more. And like I said, me and Dave aren't salespeople, we just believe in no-brainer value, and that's why WidgetChimp is bundled in with premium membership with Magento. So with that said, let's go and look how we can customize and localize our eBay listing templates in WidgetChimp, and we'll catch up with you there in a few moments of time. First place where we're going to start, Dave, is that we're going to go and find our description policy for eBay Australia, because that's the nice easy one because it's all in English. But I'll point out where you can translate any of the other settings into German or French or any language which you like. So to do that, let's go to Sell on eBay and then into Configuration. Then we're after the Policies tab along the top. And again, we've just caught it while it's running a synchronization a moment, so we'll just let that finish. And then click into your Policies tab along the top. And then, Dave, we need our eBay AU description. So let's go and pick on our basic one first for the default description policy. So let's click into there and just let that load up a moment and scroll down. And then we've got our description source. So we're now going to go and change that to custom description. And we need a template which we can paste in here. Now, what we're going to show you is WidgetChimp, and we've already been in the background going to pre-made a listing template for the UK for the OsoU eBay account. So I'm going to jump across to the WidgetChimp admin. So again, if you don't have a WidgetChimp account, go and try it out. It's a seven-day free trial, or if you are a premium member, you do get an elite account with your subscription. Let's go into the template builder and let's go and edit a responsive listing template. Now, Dave, I've already got one in here already for UK M2E Pro. So if we have a quick look at that one, let's go and click edit on this one. So it's very much a pink template. That's what because OsoU is. And if I just point out here on the left hand side is that you'll see that the eBay site is locked. Okay, and the reason why it's locked is that we don't want you to inadvertently make mistakes with live eBay listings. So instead, what we're going to do is actually duplicate this template. So I've just gone and exited that. So clicking on the duplicate button on the right hand side. There we go. That went through really quickly. And we've now got a copy. And you'll see that the eBay ID and the eBay site has not been set. So let's go and customize that template now and set it up for eBay Australia. 
So I'm going to quickly rename this one. So from UK M2E Pro, I'm going to call that AU M2E Pro. Then for the software provider, we're going to go and choose M2E Pro, which should be at the top of the list. They're going to leave the eBay ID as also you. And then crucially, Dave, we're going to change this to ebay.com.au. OK, so for Australia. And what that will do is that it will update the store links, any category links, which we've got in here as well. Again, the search box on top of your template to then work on ebay.com.au. So if you've got an Australian customer looking at the products on ebay.com.au, is that the customer will stay on ebay.com. Dot au and they won't come back to the uk site or the us site or wherever your native ebay site is if we just scroll down again you could change the layout just for ebay australia assuming all the details are correct then you would then go on and press save now dave i did mention about localization so maybe this is for germany so i'm actually going to quickly cheat in the background because again I, hands up my german isn't very good so i'm going to quickly use google translate in the background so I've grabbed that from Google Translate. I'm going to click on the Settings tab, and where the title, now it defaults to Image Gallery, which makes really good sense for the UK and also for the US as well, doesn't it, Dave? But for Germany, or in German, I'm not even going to try and embarrass myself by trying to pronounce that. But that is the Google Translate version for Image Gallery. So I'm going to put that in there and press Save Changes. And then we'll then see that our image gallery title has been an updated as well. Now, of course, you could then, again, if you were doing this for Germany, you would then go on and translate all the other tabs as appropriate too. Now, we are doing this one for Australia, so I'm just going to delete that one back out. But you can change the top titles. Now, you can also do it for maybe if you've got Buy It Now buttons on there as well. So let me just drag some Buy It Now buttons. So you can customize those buy buttons. So let's put them in the center. Is that you can then change the text. I'm just going to put howdy in there for an example and change that in there. Can you see the text is now being changed? That's what it will use, whatever your translation is for the different eBay sites. Then that's what it's going to use. Now, let me just go and take that back out again, like so. And let's go and press save template or save in the top right hand corner. And we've now got a new template called AU M2E Pro. Let's go and get the template code and then go and download that from that option there. Open that up in Notepad. And I've just got the code open on another screen. So if we now go back to Agento and M2E Pro, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste the responsive template in there. And what that now means is because this template's been set up for eBay Australia is our store category links, our logo, our search box, and the related items and the customer reviews are all going to go and link to ebay.com.au, not our native eBay site, which is ebay.co.uk. And of course, once you've been and made those changes, then just go and press save at the top. And then of course, you want to go on and press confirm because then if you have already gone skipped on ahead and got some items listed then it will go and update and revise them for you and on that note from myself matt and from me dave cheerios so for myself matt and of course dave too we both hope that you found this tutorial helpful if you did we'd both really appreciate a thumbs up on youtube either at the top of this video or down at the bottom so on screen right now, we have the next part of this tutorial. So if you just click on the next tutorial button, which is in the top right hand part of the screen, you'll head on over there right now. If you would like to be notified of the latest video tutorials that myself and Dave publish on YouTube, then also press the subscribe button underneath this video as well. And with that said, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Matt and Dave. <laughs>